Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Now we are only one step away from beginning to plot MATLAB figures. Before we do that, I really need to introduce my understanding about the hierarchical structure between plotting objects. Mm, it will save us a lot of trouble for later sections. Um, the hi hierarchical structure arrangement for MATLAB plotting can be summarized here. The highest level is figure, which is the biggest rectangle. And in this figure, it contains three axes, one here, one here, the third one here. And in each axis, you can have a plot, which give you a line. And also you can have a bar plot, which give you a bar, bar figure. Bar plot, no, no, figure is here, it's highest. And also in each of the axes, you can give legend, and also you can give labels. That is the most, uh, the lower, lowest level. So three levels: figure, x, and plot, which you can you can regard as plot as a line, line object or some bar object. And uh, here, remember um, we said before. For each of the command can be regarded as a function, and uh, most of them will return some value, which you can assign to another variable. Here, each of these command will generate a figure, x, or plot. They will return a, a number, a numerical number, which looks to me just like a random number. But this random number has a very special and important usage. It can serve as a handle. So here FF is a figure handle. AF is axis handle. PF, PF, PH. <laughs> it's not, sorry, it's not F, it's H. Bar H, bar handle, Y label handle, and legend handle. And if you save these handles, later on, you can go back to the plot you have done and change the properties of the plots. You can change the border, the color, shape of the marker, whatever you want, you will see. All right, so let's ready to plot our first figure. <laughs> 